Hello everyone, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to share a new Unity example project for you. This one, I call it Add, Move, Rotate, and Remove Object. I know it's weird, the name, but I don't care. Let's run the game. Here, we have this scene. We have these two buttons here. This one is to add an object, and this one to switch the view. Right now, we, we are in the high level view. And if we click this button, we are switching to top view. So basically, we have two cameras here. Let me show you. This is the top view camera, an orthographic camera, and this one high level view camera. And this button, we can use it to switch between those two cameras like this and we can add a new object by clicking this button and we can see these two two buttons if i click this one it will add a cube to the scene and if we switch to top view we can drag we can drag this object to position it we can add another cube okay and we add the third cube and let's try to add the sphere and also rotate the object left and right if we want to delete an object we can click any of any one of them and click remove this way So next, I'm going to show you how to add another object. Basically, these two objects, the cube and the sphere, are stored here. I have a cube object and also a sprite to be used here for this button. I also have this sphere and this uh, sprite to be used in this button. We can add another object like for example i'm going to make a simple object here in 3d max i'm going to i'm going to make a teapot when i export it an fpx object i name it teapot To add an object here, we go to our scene here. Let's make an empty game object. Set the position on 0, x, 0, y, and 0, z. Like this. We rename the game object as object teapot. Then find the teapot object find the tip of mesh here and make it a chunk of this game object I will add this material to the tip of then I will drag and drop this object to resources folder to make it a prefab to make this object draggable or movable by clicking and dragging the object we need to add this script this one draggable and also we need a box collider to be attached to this object teapot we add a box collider and then we adjust the collider we need to edit it to cover the mesh like this So please note that this draggable script will not work if you don't add a box collider to the object. We can test it. Click play. Click play button. And switch to top view. 
we can and we can try to move this object. Okay, everything is fine. We can rotate it, move it, and also remove it. But we need to add that teapot here. What we are going to do is to let's stop the game. We need to go to resources folder and we need to add a sprite here. I'm going to edit this image file. And now we can edit it. I will take a screenshot of this teapot here. I will use it this way. Well, you can do whatever you want to make your own button. So this, for example, I just will make it just this simple. And I need to re rename the file object teapot thumb. This is very important. The thumb. We need to add this uh, text for the sprite. Click save. Click OK. And here we will see it here. And we need to import it as sprite 2D and UI. Click. Then click apply. Now we are ready. We already have this teapot up and we also have the sprite and the next step is to go to this object chooser here right now we have two objects the first one is object cube and then object sphere and the third one change it to three and press enter here we need to add the name of this object here paste it press and switch to top view and add the and add the teapot now we now we can move it anywhere we can also rotate it left or right we can also remove it add cube add a sphere and add the teapot okay that's all for this video i hope you like it and thank you for watching this video see you next time